I'm going to teach you a couple of B words from Isaiah 14. First off, the word bittern. Bittern. Okay? I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water. Okay? All you got to do, if you don't know what a Bible word is, is look it up in the dictionary. Wow, it's such a, such a high-tech thing, you know. Of course, I got one on my eye touch here. So it is a little high tech, but here it is what it is. Any of several tawny brown herons that inhabit reedy marshes. Um, and there are different ones in different areas of the world. Any of several small heron or the genus. Well, okay, I'm not even going to try reading that stuff. So there's what a bittern is. Okay, now here's, a, here's an even cooler one. We're going to read another, let's see, delete that, probably hit the wrong button here on my big old thumb here. Okay, be some, okay, wait a minute, ah, doggone it, okay, be, ah, <laughs> be some, be some, and I'll show you that word, unless you've uh, already been following along with, there it is, be some. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a little story about this one, too. One time, a fellow King James Bible believer guy wrote to me here on YouTube, even. Just kiddingly said, you know, we both agreed on God's Word being perfect in the King James Bible. And the guy said, I still don't know why they have to use the word besom. He just kiddingly said that. So I thought, besom, is that really a Bible word? And I did a search in my Bible software on my computer, and sure enough, I found this verse. Isaiah 14.23, I will also make it a possession for the bittern and the pools, well, like I've already read here, of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. Okay. Now, he's saying, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land or fill the face of the world with cities. Um... Okay, then God says that he will sweep them with the besom of destruction. Okay, so now, ah, let me show you what I learned here. Okay, if maybe this, I didn't look it up on this dictionary program that I have here. It was a different um, software. Well, it says a broom, especially, especially uh, one of brush or twigs. Okay, now I don't know if in this, like I say, nope, it's not here. But on another um uh, dictionary program that I have on another computer. It said that that those this certain type of broom, you know, like I said, they're made out of you know brush or twigs and stuff. But okay, but first consider this. Okay, you might be tempted to say, okay, then why doesn't it just say broom of destruction? I will sweep it with the broom of destruction. Okay, I'm sure that some of the versions probably do whittle it down to just saying broom. Okay, well, if it did say that, wouldn't you be tempted to just look at it and say, Oh, that's an interesting way of putting it. I will sweep them with the broom of my destruction, or the broom of destruction. But consider this. when I, In the other software that I looked it up, a besom is a broom that is still used. Have you ever seen that English sport of curling? It's the most curious sport I've ever seen. They have it on the Olympics quite often where they slide this big circular-looking brick thing down the ice. And these dudes in front of it will sweep, 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 sweep with these little teeny brooms. Well, those are called besoms. And if you consider the, it this way, now that you know that, consider what those brooms are doing. How yeah, they're creating friction and slightly melting the ice and all those kind of, you know, technical kind of things. But what they're also doing is they're removing every very, very small uh, hindrance from that curling ball, which is, I guess, what it's actually called, uh, or brick or whatever, uh, to go, it allows it to go as far as possible. So it removes every little bit of uh, distraction from that thing being, being able to pro progress forward. Now when you think of it in that way, consider it, this is how God is going to be thorough with his destruction and take away every distraction from the children of Israel in their victory for him.
and their progress for him. So, aren't you now grateful for the fact that God does use the word besom in our English language when he had this translated? <laughs>